Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start with our practical lab part for the Azure Data Factory. In last video, we have already seen what is Azure Data Factory and what are the different components which is available in Azure Data Factory. In this video, we will see each and everything with the help of the business requirement in a practical way. Okay, so we have one of the business requirement. Based on that, we will try to create a data pipeline and we will try to see each activity by doing a practical. Okay, so let us first try to understand what is our business requirement and what actually we are going to do in this particular video. Okay, so we have one of the business requirement. We have a data that is coming to the input container from other sources, and we want to move a data to the output container by using a Azure Data Factory pipeline. So this is the one of the business requirement we have got it from the stakeholders, and that actually we are going to do in this particular video. Okay, so let us try to understand more about it. What are the business requirement? Okay, suppose you have web application. From this web application, you are getting a continuously data into this source location. Okay, and this is your one of the container. This is your input container. Okay, so this is your Azure storage account. And in this Azure storage account, you have input container. And this input container, you are getting a employee data. Employee data you are getting in a CSV format, and you are getting continuously. Okay, what you have to do? You have to perform a copy data activity, and you have to move a data from the source location to the your target location. That is nothing but your output container. Okay, and this is also Azure Storage account. This is also Azure Storage. In a Azure storage, you have a two container. One is input container. There you are getting a data. You also have a output container. Okay. There actually you want to move a data from this particular source to the destination by using a Azure Data Factory pipeline. Okay. So for that we have a different component which we should create it to perform a copy activity. Let us try to understand. So we know we have a source that is available in a Azure storage, right? That is we are clear. Okay, to connect to this particular source, what actually we'll do? We'll try to create a link service. We'll try to create a link service so that we can point out to this particular source file. We can access to this Azure Storage account. So we'll try to create a link service. We'll try to create a data set. This data set will point out what is our source file. This employee dot data dot CSV source file, right? So for that, we will try to create a data set. Okay, what we are doing? We are performing a copy activity. Okay, so we will try to do a copy activity. Similarly, for the target location, we will try to create a data set, and uh, this will point out to where actually we want to store. We will try to create a link service with the help of link service. We will try to access this Azure storage, and this we will try to point out the output container location. Okay, so these are the thing we are going to do in a practical way. So let me open. Okay, let me open my Azure storage account. Okay, so this is my Azure Storage account. Okay, we have already seen how to create a Azure Storage account. I have a two container: input container and output container. If I click on the input container, I have a data that is available. Okay, so this employee one dot csv. This is the particular file which I have as of now. Okay, let me try to show you the file. File. Go to the edit. Go to the preview. So this is a particular file which is available into the input location, input container. I also have a output container. There, as of now, no data is available, no result. Okay. So we'll try to create a data pipeline in Azure Data Factory Studio, and we'll try to move a data from this input container to the output container. Okay. Okay. So I have opened my Azure Data Factory Studio. We have already seen how to create a data factory. Okay, what you have to do? You have to go to this author, click on the pipeline. We are going to create a new pipeline. Click on the new pipeline. What we are going to do? We are going to do a copy data activity. So just click and drag it. Okay, drag it. Okay. After that, in a general section, we have to give the name. You can give any name. What I am giving? I am giving input to output copy. So this is the once you will give the name, it will so here also input to output copy. This is the particular thing we are going to do. If you want to give description, you can give it timeout retry also. You can give it. What actually we will do? We will go to the source location. Now we will try to create a data set. Data set where actually our file is available. 
और फाइल इज अवेलेबल इन अ ब्लॉब स्टोरेज आई विल सेलेक्ट द ब्लॉब स्टोरेज ओके और फाइल इज अवेलेबल इन अ सी एस वी फॉर्मेट आई विल सेलेक्ट द डेलीमेटेड टैक्स इफ इट इज एक्सल यू कैन सेलेक्ट एक्सल ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट अ लिंक सर्विस आई विल ट्राई टू क्लिक ऑन द लिंक सर्विस क्लिक ऑन द न्यू ओके हियर वी हैव टू गिव द लिंक सर्विस डिटेल्स सो वी हैव टू गिव अवर द सब्सक्रिप्शन डिटेल्स वी हैव टू गिव द अवर स्टोरेज अकाउंट ओके so this is the only storage i have as of now so i selected that but whatever the storage you will be having you can select that after that click on the test connection once you will click on the test connection you can see it is connection successful click on the create okay once you will click on the create your link will service will be ready the azure blob storage see this is now created okay now we have to select the file path click on the file path what where actually our file is in a input location this is the particular file so i'll try to select that okay first row contain the header so i'll select that and click on the okay now our source file is now ready if you want to preview just click on this preview data you will be able to see your source file okay so this is our source file now our source is now ready now what we will do we'll try to Select the sync. Sync is nothing but a target. So for that also we'll try to create a data set. Click on the data set. Where actually you want to store? We want to store in Azure Blob Storage. So I will select that storage account. I want to store in a JSON format. So let us try to select the JSON. Okay. Click on the continue. Click on the link service. So we'll try to create a link service, or you can use the same because both are pointing to the Blob Storage account only. So I'll try to create a new. Azure subscription and try to select the POC storage. Click on the create. Okay. Now let me try to select the file path I want to store into this output folder. So I select the output folder. Click on the OK. Click on the OK. Okay. Now my source is ready. My sync is ready. Once uh, once you will do all the things, you have to click on this validate. so if any error it will come here only okay as of now no error after that we have to click on the publish all click on the publish all click on the publish one if you want to check publish is completed or not as of now it's not completed once it will complete then only we'll try to see how actually we can run our pipeline that will move data from our input container to the output container the copy data activity right okay once the publish is continue okay you can see publish is now completed click on the close what we have to do we have to click on this add trigger once you will click on the add trigger we have two option either you can do manually or you can do uh, schedule also okay as of now we are going to do manually so i'll click on the trigger now select the trigger now click on the okay if you want to monitor your pipeline click on the monitor here and here if you will refresh you will get your all the pipeline which is running you can see this particular pipeline is now running it is in in progress state okay once it will complete we will see like your data is will get copied to the output container if it will get fail you will get to see here the error details and all okay so let us wait it to be completed you can see now our uh, it is succeed our file got copied okay so what actually i will do i'll go to the storage account i'll try to see in output container file is available or not you can see our file is available that is available in a json format so our pipeline is running successfully and it is copy a data from a csv file from a input container to the output container okay so yeah so that is how actually we can perform a copy data activity Okay yeah that's it in this video thank you